babs and besties. In honor of Black History Month, we are going to make some easy fashion items inspired by African prints. I have this really colorful fabric, but I don't have a lot of it. But I'm pretty certain we can get creative and come up with a few ideas. We're going to need paper and something to write with so we can take measurements. And we're gonna need a model. This is a classic Barbie body. I measure around the waist and I'm getting three and a half inches. Then we can measure the hips and I'm getting about five inches. I plan on doing a gathered skirt so I might not need that measurement, but it's good to have it in case we need it. Then let's measure the chest and I'm getting a hair over five inches. I measure from the waist to where I would like a skirt to stop. So let's go with three inches there. And then we can go from the waist all the way to the feet. And I'm gonna say eight inches. I'm gonna start by making a short skirt which has a waistband. So for the waistband, we're gonna need to add a seam allowance onto the measurements for the waist. And if it's a quarter of an inch on either side, that's a half inch, so that takes us to four inches. And then we need them to overlap so we can close it, so that's an additional half inch. So that brings us to four and a half inches for the waistband. And we're gonna make it an inch wide. For the skirt, I'm gonna do about three times the waist and our skirt length with a seam allowance. So I cut four and a half inches by one inch of fabric, then a nine by three and a half inch rectangle for the bottom. Take the bottom, flip it over. I'm gonna run a zigzag stitch along the bottom and the sides to prevent fraying. Then I sew a very loose straight stitch across the top. We're gonna to use that thread to gather. However, before we do that, let's go ahead and hem the bottom. So I flip it over, then fold it up a fourth of an inch and iron it flat, then sew a straight line going all the way across. Once hemmed, let's go back to the top and pull one of the threads to gather. Gather it to the length of the waistband. Take the waistband and we're gonna lay it on top with the good side facing good side and sew a straight line a fourth of an inch from the top. We can use pins to hold everything in place, then sew a straight line. Then fold the waistband up, flip it over, fold over the top of the waistband and iron it down, then fold it over the raw edges and sew a straight line along the edge. Use pins to hold it in place. I'm gonna sew on the good side so I can make sure it looks good from the front. I run a zigzag along the ends, fold the whole skirt in half so the good side is on the inside, matching up the raw edges. Sew a straight line about halfway up, then fold one side over just a little, and we're gonna sew a straight line going up to hem it. Flip it inside out. I use a needle and thread to sew on snaps. Try it on the doll. It's a little loose at the waist. I think I need to move my snaps over. And I could do a better job on my gathering and I want a fuller skirt. So let's try again. Look at that, it fits the curvy doll perfectly. Okay, this time I'm going to make the skirt 12 inches long instead of nine and I'm adding a fourth of an inch to the width of the waistband. This time I'm gonna do a better job at gathering. I just sewed it on and it's already looking a little better. So this time I'm going to zigzag the top edge of the waistband, done. Then I'm just going to fold it over to try and reduce some of the bulk. And I sewed the snaps on to make it a little tighter at the waist. This is definitely the look I was going for, so yay! Now I would like to make a top and if the chest is about five inches, we need to add another half inch for the seam allowance. That's a fourth of an inch on each side. And then another half inch for it to overlap. So that takes us to six inches. I cut a rectangle that is six inches by two inches. I sew a zigzag stitch going all the way around. Then we're going to fold over all of the edges. I did a fourth of an inch on each side, but I think it's still a little too wide. So let's take the bottom up 
probably about half an inch which means we could have cut this at an inch and three quarters. Now I'm going to sew a straight stitch going all the way around the edge. Sew on Velcro or snaps. Place it on the doll. To give it a little more shape, I'm gonna use a needle and thread to loosely stitch a line up the center, then pull together for an easy matching top. And the top kind of fits the curvy Barbie. You just might want to adjust the placement of your Velcro. I still have some fabric left, so we can make a few more things. I cut two and a half inches of fabric, cut two three inch pieces, then let's zigzag the edges, take eighth of an inch elastic and place it near the top, fold it over so the elastic is on the inside, and sew a straight stitch. I made a small stitch on the end just across the elastic so it wouldn't come out. Fold the bottom up, place elastic on top, and then we are going to pull it while sewing it on with a zigzag stitch. So it gathers. Fold it in half so the good side is on the inside, lining up the edges. Pull one end of the elastic at the top to gather and sew a straight line going down. Flip it inside out to make sleeves. I cut a 12 inch by one and a half inch strip of fabric. I fold it in half. I sew down the side and along the bottom edge, stopping to leave an opening in the center so we can flip it inside out. And I'm using a paintbrush to poke out those corners. Sew the opening closed, tie it around the doll's head, and then I take the ends and just kind of swirl them around to make a little knot to make a matching head wrap. I am trying to salvage the first skirt by using the seam ripper to take out the waistband so I can fix that gather. And I added the wider waistband and let's use Velcro in the back instead of snaps. Much better. And we were able to salvage the other skirt, so yay! Now let's make some sleeves. I want these to balloon more at the bottom, so I cut a trapezoid. It's two and a half inches at the top, about four and a quarter at the bottom, and three inches tall. Zigzag the top and bottom, then fold them over and iron it down. Place elastic in the fold. I'm using pins to hold it in place. Then I take the other end of my elastic and I'm going to place it in the fold on the bottom. Oops. There we go. Sew a straight line without touching the elastic. And I sew back and forth over one end of the elastic to make sure it doesn't come out. Repeat on the other end. Then I'm going to remove my pins. Then fold it in half so the good side is on the inside. Lining up those raw edges. Pull the elastic together, sew a straight line. Now we can cut off the excess without wasting a lot of elastic like I did the first time. It's a learning process, y'all. But now we have sleeves that are a little puffier at the bottom. Okay, so we were able to get two dresses out of that material. Add another little head wrap and she is good to go. I found another print that we can use to make a simple dress. Now we do not have a lot of material here. It's a small square measuring nine and a half inches by ten and a half inches. So this time we're going to make a very simple dress. On the ten and a half inch side, I measure up four and three quarter inches. Sew a zigzag stitch around the edge. Fold up the bottom a quarter of an inch. Sew a straight line to hem it. Place elastic at the top and fold over the fabric. Sew a straight line to make a casing. Remembering to stitch across one end of the elastic so we can pull to gather. Place it on a doll to see where we want it. And I'm thinking I made it a little too large. If I pull this and do all this gathering, it's just gonna be really, really puffy through here. So maybe we're gonna just take it back a notch to probably about, probably about there. I use pins to mark where I would like to sew. Sew a straight line, trim off the excess, flip it inside out, 
to make a simple skirt. <laughs> Add some puff sleeves and we have another dress. Now I am pretty much out of my African fabrics with all of those rich colors and patterns. But I did find this in one of my fabric bins and it's very colorful, lots of pattern. Let's try to make a dress out of it. And since we have more fabric, I want to try and make a puffier sleeve. So this time my trapezoid is two and a half inches at the top, four inches tall, and six inches across the bottom. I'm gonna do everything the same and it is looking a little puffier. Oh yeah, we've got some serious volume here. I want to make a bigger skirt as well. So I cut a large circle with a 20 inch diameter and a 10 inch radius. I think I need the sides of my skirt to be eight inches. So I'm just going to cut off the point and I'm trying to do that neatly and kind of rounded. Let's open it up and cut a straight line going up one of the sides. So we can open it and have it lay flat. I know that I can fit a 12 inch skirt inside of my waistband, so let's measure it. I'm getting about 16 inches across the top, so we're gonna need to cut off about four inches. I'm cutting off five inches, just because I think I might be able to get another skirt out of it. Then I run a zigzag stitch along all of the raw edges, fold up the bottom edge, iron it flat, then sew a straight line to hem it. At the top, sew a loose straight stitch going all the way around to pull and gather to the length of the waistband. Lay them good side to good side and sew on the waistband just as before. Close it up in the back and add Velcro. To finish our new look, we have a nice full skirt here so we can change it up a little. These are all pretty easy dresses to make using squares, rectangles, and trapezoids. It's the fabric that really makes them special. Bold, colorful prints make them pop. Thank you for joining us while we made these fabulous dresses. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Stop